this is Dr. Anthony from your educational podcast and video. Today we are going to talk more about medical English terms. Uh, let's take for example the first word, chiropractic. Chiro means hand and practice means doing something with your hands. In this case, chiropractic means treating the body by manipulating it, manipulating the spine. Let's take another example. Carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal means the wrist or the hand. And in, in, in the case of carpal tunnel syndrome, it's a condition of the hand or the wrist which associated with pain, tingling, and uh, muscle weakness. Um, next word is myositis. Myositis, myo means muscle, and situs or itis means inflammation. And in this case, it would mean inflammation of the muscle. The next word I'd like to talk about is rhinoplasty. Rhino means nose. Plasty means surgery. So rhinoplasty together, we'll, we'll say that this is a surgery to correct any problems associated with the nose. It is also called nose job. Finally, let's talk about the word cancer. A lot of people are familiar with the word cancer. It's a, it, but a lot of people don't realize that, that the, another terminology called malignant growth is also associated with cancer. Um, let's take, there are many kinds of cancers. Um, uh, one example is uh, melanoma. Melanoma is a cancer of the skin. Another one is pancreatic cancer. This is obviously very easy. Cancer of the pancreas. Now you may not know exactly where the pancreas is. It would be good to know where exactly where it is. It helps helps understanding the terminology. And finally, let's talk about testicular cancer, which is very straightforward. This is a condition that's associated with men, uh, cancer of the testicles. Um, it's very common in men in, uh, between the ages of 40 to 50. Now, next time, we'll talk more about these terminologies, and uh, I'll help you break down the words a little further. Uh, we'll, I'll try introducing later on prefixes and suffixes and more root words. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.